Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi, this is Katie. Um, today I am hopping on to share an unboxing with you all. This is a company that I have worked on kits from before and um, have unboxed once before on my channel, but um, I am trying out some new things from their company this time around and thought I would share. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing very well. This is one of my hmm, many Black Friday orders <laughs> that have come in. Um, this one's been sitting for a minute. <laughs> I just haven't had a good time to film an unboxing. And then I was debating, do I want to do an unboxing? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you might recognize the packaging. This is from the wonderful Dreamer Designs. And they were running a heck of a Black Friday sale that I could not resist. So, okay. Let's start. I'm going to start with the big one because this one has newer things to me. So if you aren't familiar with Dreamer Designs, they do have like legally licensed artwork where they compensate their artists. They work with a number of different artists and have been expanding over the past couple of months as well. Their boxes come with a handle on them for carrying, which I've never seen in other companies. I've never personally used it, but hey, there are people that travel with their diamond paintings, right? Why diamond paint? I've never read this one before. <laughs> Reduces stress and anxiety, improves your feet, whatever. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Those are all the reasons I got into diamond painting. So let's get into this. So did you guys pick up anything from the Dreamer Designs Black Friday sales? I want to say their sale was buy one, get one 85% off. And I only, I have worked on one kit from them that was from their older, like version one. And I have another kit from them in my stash that's from version two that I just haven't had the chance to, or, you know, itch to work on just yet. So we shall see. Getting my commentary here. Okay, that is empty. So Dreamer Designs, their canvases, drills and everything come in these reusable branded bags which are handy and a nice little touch. A little purple ribbon, I'm getting Ever Moment vibes. <laughs> Drills and toolkit. Oops, a little, multi little straightener fell out of there. I will quickly show you guys the toolkit, just in case there are those of you that aren't familiar with their toolkits, since they do a little bit different from other companies. So when Dreamer Designs did a big um, update to their canvases a few months back, uh, they started including more things in their toolkits. This is new and different. It looks like the point of a ballpoint pen. Interesting, never used that before. But you get two pens. One is, I don't know, <laughs> different. It comes in a really soft silk bag. Uh, you get pointy tweezers. Oh, wait. No, actually, those aren't really that pointy. Those aren't that sharp. But, I mean, they could probably do some damage. Plastic baggies for drills. Two branded things of pink wax. Squishy for your pens. Two branded white boats. And a, it's like an 11 place straightener. And a couple of multi-placers as well like a three and a six maybe so that's what comes in your toolkit let's get into the canvas itself oh there were two squishies this one fell out <laughs> one for each pen so um this i was excited to try because it is a new to dreamer designs artist and this is one of their first round drill kits now up until I think November, Dreamer Designs only did square drill kits. So, look at that. So the name of this one, which it does say at the top, is Mary Poppins, Jolly Holiday, legally licensed from the artist Regan Kubitschek. 
probably mispronouncing that, but uh, it's a 60 by 80 centimeter piece. And that looks super cute. So down in here, oh, it does come on a foam roller, which is nice. You have a more detailed instruction sheet. This used to be a lot more extensive. I'm really glad they pared it down. They do have a Facebook group that is specifically for people that have purchased kits from them before. It's really nice to go on and check and see, um, like if you're like me and you like to see projects completed before you decide if you want to buy them because you know, the renderings that they put on the website are helpful, but don't necessarily give you a really good idea of what they're going to look like. Um, I find the Facebook group helpful for that. And that's where they kind of keep people up to date on new releases and new artists that are coming and look for feedback and that sort of thing. So I think this is new as well. I'm not sure, but this is an extra sort of um, inventory and symbol sheet. So this I think would fit perfectly in my Zyron sticker maker or I have a feeling this looks like a sticker to me. Mm -mm. I have my nails are taking a little break from my color street, so they're real short and naked. Okay, I think. Yep. Okay, so this is a sticker. I love that. I'm going to use that. I don't even have to put it in my Zyron sticker maker because. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look at the symbols on the canvas itself here. Let me roll it the opposite way to get it to lay a little flatter for us. It's right, wrapped a little tightly around that foam roller, but uh, Dreamer Designs kits are poured glue. So they're very forgiving in terms of you can roll it the opposite direction to help it lay flat. And also you can pull back the plastic cover because as you might see like some of these sort of lines in this canvas and worry that it's either um, bubbles or uh, wrinkles and it's not. <laughs> it's just because of how it was wrapped. We can fix that super easily just by pulling back the plastic and laying it back down. But just rolling that through the opposite direction made that lay so much more nicely. So um, to be totally honest with you guys, it took me a little while to decide on which kit and rounds to get from dreamer designs because none of them like super strongly spoke to me but i was excited to try this this kit i landed on this kit because it's a new artist so i knew that this would be brand new rendering and i was anxious to see what the symbols looked like and knowing that it wasn't just going to be like a copy paste from um, one of the kits that they've had for a while and um, I am a huge Disney fan. We live 15 minutes from Disneyland. <laughs> and so I have fond, fond associations with like Mary Poppins and you know, all things Disney. So let's take a quick look at the symbols. What I often hear people talk about with regards to Dreamer Designs is that they tend to oversaturate the colors on in the symbols on their canvas um, to the point that it is difficult to look at, that it can kind of give you a headache. Um, and it the saturation just blurs the symbols themselves. These do look saturated, but they don't look headache inducing. <laughs> to me, at least at first glance, they are kind of an intense color. I don't know if it totally translates on camera, but especially these like, these deeper colors, they do seem a little saturated to me, but the symbols are extremely clear to me, which I appreciate. And if we get into the lighter symbols, those are certainly easier to read. I wish you guys can see okay. They're not as saturated. And none of these symbols seem confusing or strange either. The, these red fours here are maybe a little bit blurry, but as long as we don't have any other symbols that are super close, to, oops, sorry, super close to that, we'll be okay. There's bees. Look at that cute horse. Look at those eyelashes. I wish I had eyelashes like that. And then this this rendering looks kind of wild <laughs> on the canvas itself, but I bet once there are drills on here, it's gonna look um, really pretty in her face. <laughs> so, and then something else that Dreamer Designs does is you might notice that there's a slight border up here 
that um, it goes all the way around the canvas, all around the drill field. That's not a mistake or a printing error. They do that to just sort of smooth over the edges of the border once you have the drills on the canvas. So let's test the sticky. Okay. Seems good. I mean, not good, not bad. I mean, yes, good, but not like. Never mind. It's good. The, <laughs> the stickiness is fine. Let me pull this back to help it lay a little more flat. Again, these lines, which I don't know if they're totally there, you can kind of see them on camera. Those aren't wrinkles or bubbles. Um, that's just where the plastic cover shifted a little bit. Oh, there. Yeah, this is super sticky. This will be great. <laughs> um, it's anyway, that's not damage on the canvas or in the glue itself. That really wants to stay wrinkled. I'll probably play with that more later to get it to <laughs> lay a little more neatly. Okay, let's do the same from the top real quick. So do I have any other fellow Disney fans <laughs> here? Um, have you guys seen any of the kits from like this new artist at Dreamer Designs? And are, have you tried any of them yourself? A couple that are really really pretty was there one that was called jasmine that i almost got where she has like angel wings the colors are just gorgeous so yeah i don't know that plastic cover really doesn't want to lay down flat that's okay let's do a quick measurement to make sure it's true to size this should be 60 by 80 centimeters and we've got measuring the drill field 60 about on the nose and laying it flat and 80 exactly. Uh, quick other notes about the canvas. If you wanted to see Dreamer Design social media info, it's right there. They do have a legend on the side. All of these symbols seem fairly standard and like I said when we were looking at the canvas, pretty easy to read. They do have a legend over here on the bottom left as well. And then they're, you know, sort of saying here, paint with passion. And then they do have a lifetime warranty as well if you have problems. And then Dreamer Designs at the bottom. Oops. So let's take a quick look at the drills. Like I said, I was so curious to try out their round drills because these are new to them. And do I see, do I see ABs? I think there might be ABs in here too. Yeah, I think there are. And if it's like um, Diamond Art Club's numbering, it's gonna be, I don't know, let's take a quick look. <laughs> My brain's a little fuzzy tonight. Okay, yeah, this looks like ABs to me. There we go. AB, oh, you can't see. AB 43, this pretty orange AB. And if you aren't familiar with what ABs are, it just stands for Aurora Borealis Drills. And it's a clear coat, it's a coating they put on top of the regular drills that just makes it sparkle a little bit, pulls the colors from around it, and just can really beautifully enhance a painting. So it looks like these are in order for how they are on the legend, so, um, which is also incidentally DMC order. So we've got, here, I'll flip it this way so we can see the drills a little bit better. Lose. I'm going to take a look at these dark colors, make sure we don't have lots of trash or anything like that. Is this all four bags of 310? Okay. <laughs> Taking a quick look, these drills look good. I don't see really trash in there. So that's, that's a good first impression. These blues. That forest green. Oh, and there we go. I just looked at the legend again. Um, they have the ABs at the bottom listed with an AB in the front. So we're going to have four ABs in this. Nice. Now, if you get a kit and it doesn't come with ABs, you can order ABs from DP with Sparklers. And I actually just got my order from them, my very first order from them last week. And they are pretty. And she's running a sale right now through the end of the calendar year. So 
if you wanted to get your hands on any extra, even just to have sort of stashed away, look at that pink. I highly recommend it before the end of the year. Gosh, so this has 54 colors. Dang, it's gonna be colorful. Pinks. You know that's the other reason I landed on this kit, right? <laughs> the pinks, that mint, oops. Maybe some skin tone there. Two bags of this emerald green. Oh, that's pretty. I bet that's in the flowers at the bottom. I like that. Burgundy again, just taking a quick look at these. Oh, there's another AB. Here's the rest of our ABs, these three right here. But I was just gonna say, taking a look at these other drills, these are all looking really great in quality to me. Here's our other three ABs. We have a sparkly white. I don't know if I've ever seen a darker purple before like that. I love that. And then red. I love that. I love that Dreamer Designs is adding these new things. For sure. And then one last strip here. A little straggler in there. <laughs> I like these colors for this canvas, for sure. I think that'll be really nice. Okay, so those are our colors. The drills look good, like I said. Let me flip this back over so you can take another quick look. And I'm guessing, let's see what the symbols for the ABs are. So let's see. So the B is, the symbol B is our white AB and that's like throughout her dress. And yeah, it's just, it's literally just in these highlights, I think where the lighting would be like the folds of her dress. So that will look really pretty. The purple AB is the O symbol. <laughs> I... Am I just totally overlooking it? Oh, there we go. There's a little bit here, kind of in the, yeah, there it is. Oh, and the horse's mane as well. Oh, that'll look really nice. And then the red, is that, yeah, that's also like in her umbrella and in parts of her dress. This is going to have some really nice sparkle throughout, I think. And then that yellow triangle, I see, or this is going to be orange. There's just a few of them. I see some here. That's the centers of the flowers. I'm up here. So, okay, let me get this canvas packed away and I will pull out the other one for you guys. Okay, and we're back. So my other kit from them is one that they've had in stock. Well, they've had as an option on their website for a little while. Um, it's just been on my like, oh, someday I want to get that. Like maybe when they're running a really good sale. And so this is a good excuse for it. I'd seen it completed in the Facebook group. And um, I have the feeling it's going to be super confetti heavy, which is kind of a Dreamer Designs trademark anyway. Um, but it's a little bit smaller. I don't know if you guys help me. It's a little bit smaller. So uh, this is a square drill kit. I am not going to go through the tool kit again. It is the same exact thing. Also still comes with a bag. So this one's a little bit different material than the other. I, it's fine. <laughs> I'm probably not really going to use it. So not a big deal. So this one, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain. This one is called Rainbow Stallion. Oh, that is like snacky. I like that. I like that. It's a 40 by 50 centimeter. And I'm very curious. What is your definition of a snack size kit? <laughs> when I very first started diamond painting, I probably would have said like a 20 by 30 or um, like the special drill kits or the stickers or whatever. Those are snack sizes. Now, because I have just a really ridiculous amount of large, large canvases in my stash, 
I see 40 by 50, I'm like, hey, that's a snack size. <laughs> so this was rolled rather tightly around that foam roller. So I am gonna pull this back to help it lay a little more flat because it does not wanna lay flat. I've mentioned in previous unboxings that if you do this sort of thing to help your canvas flatten out um, or to take a closer look at the drills or whatever, I strongly, strongly recommend that you do not pull the plastic cover all of the way off your canvas. Do it like halfway one way and then turn it and do it halfway the other. The reason for that is because only one side of the plastic is safe to go on the adhesive. Otherwise it can just stick to your adhesive and ruin it. <laughs> so I mentioned when I was looking at my last kit that um, you know, some people have noticed and I found this to be the case with my version one kit that I had worked on from them that the colors on the symbols on the canvas tend to be kind of saturated where they're that just means that the color is just really intense like they like the printer put like 50% too much ink um, into these colors and kind of makes it hard to look at and I don't know how well that is translating on camera but I am I have to say I'm definitely finding that to be the case with this canvas. So I'm glad that I got one of the kits from a newer artist with new, like what I knew would be new rendering and new printing and everything because now I can sort of compare. But if you take a look, let me see how this translates on camera. It's even more intense in person. However, the symbols are clearer than I remember them being on the first kit that I worked on also um holy confetti oh my gosh <laughs> you guys this is like on the level of my josephine wall canvas that's <laughs> super confetti heavy which this 40 by 50 canvas has 39 colors in it so for there to be that much confetti up there is like whoa <laughs> Looking at the symbols though, like I said, to me, these are easier to read. Some of them are like this green hammer. Some of these, they're gonna show up clearer on camera than they are in person. They're show, they are just a little bit fuzzy. This, can you even see that? Let me see. So this P um, on this pink background, that's really faint. That's really, really faint. Like I almost can't make out that um, letter but it looks like that's the only symbol that is like a white text on a pink background so at least I'll know when I see that even if I can't make out the symbol I'll know what it is if that makes sense so this is just gonna be rainbow tastic <laughs> um, but all of the completed examples I've seen of this really are beautiful and I feel like this is the perfect size canvas to do something like that with <laughs> 40 by 50 so let's measure it though just to see so we've got actually it's like a hair over 50 okay <laughs> not gonna complain about that and then 40 on the nose uh, this is artwork that's legally licensed from Anne Marie Bone uh, Dreamer Designs carries quite a lot of artwork from her and it's usually very confetti heavy, it's also beautiful. <laughs> so just like the other kit, we do have legends on both sides, the top right and bottom left, and it is so long that it almost goes <laughs> all the way down to the ground. I did not mention in the last kit, but with the way the drills are bagged, they do have a label on them for what kit these go with. And it even says like Dreamer Designs on the inside bag. So if you were to store this, outside of the boxes like in a roll keeper or in totes or something like that um, if you were to store the canvases separately from the drills it would be very easy to match them up again later so let's take a quick look at the drills i believe a new addition with the version 2 kits is it looked like this one also came with ab's so that's cool There's a literal rainbow of colors happening here and I'm here for it. 
really quick. I did just want to double check and see. Okay, it did. I was like, I didn't see the separate legend like the other kit had. This one does come with the sticker legend as well. And all the symbols, just like the other kit, are pretty sort of standard kinds of symbols. And there are three ABs at the bottom. <laughs> so let's take a quick look. Now these are squares. Um, the first and only kit that I've worked on and completed from Dreamer Designs was a square kit. And I did have some issues with trash in the drills. I had plenty and was able to complete the kit without a problem, but I did have to pick through some trash. We have a straggler, but those these look good. Like literally this is every color under the rainbow. In the rainbow, <laughs> under the sun. <laughs> I love it. Very fitting though, because the name of this piece is Rainbow Stallion. <laughs> look at that pink orange aqua well like i said the quality on these is looking really really good so far reds dark blue now um you may have heard other people including myself in other videos mention that it's often the darker colors and or the more mass produced colors so even like whites that you'll find issues with the quality because they're mass produced or something about the production process for dark drills. So when I'm looking for if the drills are good quality, I'm paying extra attention to the darker drills. Orange, 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 like carrots. <laughs> Another little random straggler. Yeah, that gives me Halloween vibes. <laughs> That's 939. Yeah, I'm not even seeing tabs on these squares or anything. These drills look fantastic, honestly. Mm -hmm. I want to see these square ABs. Let's get to that. Okay, one of my favorite colors. Pink, dusty pink. I'm really liking the ambient lighting I'm getting from my Christmas tree <laughs> that's like 10 feet away. I should just leave my Christmas tree up year round for YouTube lighting. Okay, here's our ABs. Look at that. Love that. It's like a buttery, buttery cream corn yellow. Just a real subtle sparkle. That white, just like we had in the other, that's a fair amount. And then look at all this green. That is a lot of ABs for a 40 by 50 kit. I love that. I'm, I'm on board with these AB editions, streamer designs. Okay, let's take a really quick look at where these ABs will be. So 39 is the symbol, the letter A, and it's kind of all throughout here in these trees. It's just confettied through like this background that leads up to the horse. It's everywhere. That A is even sprinkled in here. So the A is sprinkled throughout 38N. Kind of in here and up here and then six you see six. this is that pale yellow here here a little bit over here so just like the other kit um just like the mary poppins jolly holiday it seems like the avs are just really kind of evenly distributed throughout and just maybe focus just a little bit in areas they feel like they want to especially enhance and I do really like that because I feel like it has an overall nice, subtle, but powerful impact in enhancing a painting. So I'm on board with that. And I'm so, so curious to see what these kits are going to look like once they get worked up. So um, well, let me check the sticky on this really quick. Yep. This looks good. It feels good. So um, also... Dreamer Designs, I didn't mention with the other canvas, but their canvases are softer. Um, they're not velvety like, you know, Diamond Art Club, but they're they're soft to the touch. The edges are surged, so you're not gonna run into fraying like you sometimes can otherwise. Um, but at first glance with these two kits, I am really happy with what I'm seeing. I'm intrigued to try out the ABs and the round drills and the new artist. I'm a little bummed that they're still printing these 
Um, these canvases that they've had in their repertoire for a while with such intense colors, I would really have loved to see them tone this down because this, like even just looking at it for this unboxing, it's just kind of like intense, let alone when I'm gonna be up working in it, especially these reds and these pinks, it's just a lot. <laughs> so I would be really interested to see them tone that down because I know I'm not the only one that has noticed that, but I'm still really excited to see how this is going to work out because look at that. Oops. Like that's what the original artwork looks like. I just, I love it. I'm not sure when I'm going to get to either of these kits, but hopefully soon. I'd love to hear from you guys if you've worked on either of these kits or if you've tried out any of Dreamer Design's new kits that come with round drills or their new artists. Um, and if you've worked on Dreamer Designs in the past, have you found canvases with this kind of intense color to be difficult to work on or has it not bothered you? Um, and also, did you snag anything in the Black Friday sale? Because Dreamer Designs had one of the best Black Friday sales that I saw, that's for sure. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this unboxing was really helpful for you guys. Please let me know in the comments, as always, if you have any questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I'd love if you took a minute to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me um, and the silly diamond painting shenanigans that I'm up to, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos, which is not on a schedule because life and the holidays and I have two little ones running around. But I love getting to chat with you guys and getting to know you. Thank you for being here. I'm grateful for all of you and I will see you next time. Have a good one guys. Bye.